Hey, so what is going on everybody? Another new feature in iOS 11 that I wanted to share with all of you is called idle opacity, and that reduces the visibility of the assistive touch feature when you don't have it in use. If you haven't played around with this assistive touch, I wanted to share it with you because it's a really cool feature. It has lots of shortcut functions in it. I have it right here on the home screen. So if I just touch that, you can see I can get this little screen up here. I can go into the control center from there. I can close the control center. If I go back into the control center and I bring that back up, you can go into device and you can control the volume from there. You can see over here, the slider goes up and down. It's actually got more features in here. So it's a really cool feature. And if your home button is actually broken, you can actually control the phone using this. So let me show you how to go in and enable it and what the uh, actual idle opacity does. So you just go in here, go to general, go to accessibility, and you can scroll down here where it says assistive touch. And then you can choose that and you can toggle on and off right here with assistive touch. So what this idle opacity does, like if I touch that, you can see I have it right there on the screen. Actually, it kind of hides it. So you can actually go down to, it looks like 15% there. So it reduces reduces the visibility of the actual assistive touch. So if we go back out here to the home screen, you can see it's right there. It's kind of hidden, but it's a really neat shortcut. And I thought maybe you guys would find it useful. I like the fact that you can get right into the control center there. You can check your notifications from there. It's just a handy little feature. Maybe you'll find it useful as a shortcut feature. Anyway, guys, if you like the video, click thumbs up, share the video, and I'll see you guys next time.